Hello everyone, this is Mae Darlene reporting and welcome back to The Sims 4. Um, this is the second part of my series of anime uh, characters in The Sims 4. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you my Soul Eater character, which is just one character plus an OC. Um, I'll show you my Professor Stein. That's my OC, so I'm gonna I'll go over her in a minute. So this is Professor Stein. Um, Sims are difficult to um, uh, anime Sims are difficult to do because they um, there's not a lot, you have to really mod a lot in order to get anything of any kind of accuracy. So <laughs> I've really had to struggle to get anywhere with this. Um, but I'll just go ahead and just show you what I've got so far. Um, all this stuff is actually, all the clothing is stock clothing. Um, just from regular Sims 4 stuff. This is from Get to Work. And, um, the pants are from Get Together. The boots are regular stock. They've always been there. And so I have the glasses. Um, the hair is by, uh, Kijiko. Um, they make great anime hairs. Um, however, I'm not really sure about uh, what they do for um, clothing or things like that. I think they're mostly uh, makeup, hair, things like that. Um, the eyes are... Um, I, I line them with black because that's kind of the way that um, most anime characters are styled. Um, oftentimes you have to line their eyes with black to make them visible. Um, it, it, it just sets them apart better. So... But the eye mod is from, I, th I think, Praline, Praline Sims or somebody else. I'm fairly certain it's Praline Sims. This is actually the first eye mod I ever used. One of my favorites, um, besides this one, N38, that's probably my favorite, most favorite of all. Um, again, just stock sort of stuff. He's always wearing black pants, so it kind of makes it easy for me to deal with. And, of course, every Soul Eater fangirl worth her salt is going to know that infamous scene about um, after, you, after you first meet Stein, I think. It's um, one of the episodes right after you meet Stein, I think, is um, when you see him shirtless. Um, the way I added tattoos, um, I wanted to kind of show that there was scarring or he was operating on himself. I know the black work is probably not... Uh, the best thing to put on there, but I just kind of wanted to uh, have something there to kind of represent uh, that he was, you know, stitched up. Um, the skin mod is by Praline Sims, by the way, the skin tone. Um, it's very handy to have. It just, it makes your Sims look a lot better uh, when they, they're showing their skin. Um, this tattoo right here is by Praline Sims. Um, it's, it's a very, um, it, it just kind of represents the tattooing. Um, this is a Blackworks, um, tattoo set. Um, it comes in a whole set. Um, the clothing is stock right here, um, and I also have him without his glasses, because that's pretty, pretty much what happened. Um, same thing. What else have I got? Again, just mostly stock stuff, but, um, really the hair makes a difference. Um, the hair and the eyes. If you can get the hair and the eyes, you can really do well with the sim. Um... And, of course, screw going through the head. Um, that's something that could be made into a hat mod. I, I would really love to be able to mod, but I suck at modding, first and foremost. Uh, so, this is my um, OC for Soul Eater. Um, that jacket and um, shirt combination is just a recolored version of something that is uh, a stock. Uh, thing. The skirt, that is stock. The boots are stock as well. The glasses are stock. Um, the eyeballs, those are N38 by um, Praline Sims. The uh, snake bites are by Lilith. And the lip mod is also by Praline Sims. Everything else is fairly stock. Um, also, the eye is by FRS. The eyeshadow <coughs> mod, excuse me. <clears throat> and the hair is by Stealthic. Uh, this is Temptress, is this particular one. Um, I've downloaded nearly every single hair that Stealthic has ever made uh, for, for regular uh, Sims. 
so here we are. Praline Sims for the lips. Um, eyeshadow. I want to say it's Praline Sims. I could be wrong. Um, no, that's FRS. Um, the ear cuff. Let me see where that came from, if I can find it. Don't think I have a, um, a name for that mod. Um, the hair is by Stealthic as well. This updo. It's gorgeous. I love it. Um, this is my favorite black dress. You will see this on pretty much every OC that I ever make. Um, this particular dress for formal occasions. Um, I also have a black work uh, tattoo um, on her arm there. Uh, Praline Sims does the nails. Um, just matte black uh, nails. Athletic. This tattoo is also by Praline Sims. It's a whole chest piece. Uh, very good. Uh, very pretty sort of thing. Um, all this is stock. All the clothing is stock here. Temptress, again, for the hair. Um, not sure who makes this particular um, uh, underwear mod. I don't remember. And I also don't remember who makes this dress. I really wish I knew. Um, I'm horrible with uh, keeping track of everything I download. Um, but pretty much everything that I use you can find on the Sims um, resource website. And hot bikini. I don't remember where that came from either. It's all it's all very much there, but a lot of my stuff comes from Praline Sims just because they, they make so much stuff and they make stuff that makes Sims look very good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the house. Um, it's a very dark kind of house and of course I can't really... I could really do a good job with this if I wanted to, but um, I'm obviously not that great. Um, this is also a slightly modified lot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into build mode to take a look at it. I'm really not sure what kind of mods. I kind of build as I go on a lot of things and I often change them to make them look good. So it's kind of dark in here, um, but I always remember that uh, Stein's house being dark. Um, You know, his his house is dark, um, and it's got stitches in it. I obviously couldn't put the stitches in. I put a fence around here um, and a small reflection pond. Uh, kind of made the windows crooked, because I remember... I seem to remember the windows being crooked. I really hadn't actually watched anything in a while. Uh, big old courtyard. Of course, you remember that infamous fight scene. Well, I didn't want to do that. Um, this is stock, this is stock, uh, this is a stock tile from, um, Spa Day. Uh, this floor is by Pro uh, Praline Sims, it's Woods, uh, floor set. This is also from Spa Day. Uh, let's see, this is from Praline Sims, that's a rug. It's a nice little furry rug. Let's see, that is stock, that's stock. This is from Ultra. Um, it's a desktop computer. Unbreakable, so, and pretty, uh, inexpensive, so it's great for, uh, just having, you know, something to, to, for your Sims to work on. Um, this is from the Monaco set, um, uh, from Shino KCRS. Um, let's see, is there anything else in here that is modded? This came from... The detective set. Um, I don't know if you had to hit a certain uh, level in order to use it, but uh, it's there. Um, all the rest of this stuff is pretty much stock. I don't have a ton of house mods, believe it or not. I have a lot of wallpapers, but I don't really have a lot of anything else. This is also a tile from Spa Day. Um, this is a wood floor by Praline Sims, also of that same set. Um, you know, just more Spa Day stuff. The counters. Uh, that's stock. This table is from the Bedroom Cedar set. This rug is from Praline Sims. There's arrows and that infamous purple couch. Um, I know the computer is actually downstairs, but um, it's kind of hard to discern the inside of Stein's house because you see just kind of, you know, glimpses and pieces, you know, of it and not, you know, a whole lot of what is actually where. So, but it's all, you know, very dark, very much... Um, very much a, a Stein looking sort of place. So um, that's it for Soul Eater. I really need to do more with the series. I'm probably going to end up making um, Maka and Soul probably. So I'll be coming back to this um, again in another episode. So 
I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is May Darlene. Over and out.